there and welcome back. I'm Casey Berglund, anti-diet dietitian, yoga teacher, and mentor at worthyandwell.com. In this video, I'm sharing why I'm not a weight loss coach. But you're a dietitian who wants people to love their bodies. Isn't that what you do? Help people lose weight so they can love their bodies? Nope. I've never once said, you need to lose weight so you can love your body. Let me help you. That has never been the mission of Worthy and Well. Yet, weight loss is the number one desire that people still come to me with. And you know, I'm not saying that it's bad to have that desire or that you're bad for having that desire. I totally understand and I totally get it. But I think that you want something deeper. You really want what you think the weight loss will bring to your life. So here's why I'm not a weight loss coach. Firstly, there are more than enough of them out there. And frankly, I have no desire to contribute to diet culture and the multi-billion dollar weight loss industry. Secondly, weight loss is often the wrong goal and it can lead to self-sabotage. Obsessing about weight loss and gripping to that outcome can really lead to suffering. I'm gonna get a little bit yogi on you for a moment. There's an ancient text that contributes to lots of the philosophy in the yoga tradition, and it's called the Bhagavad Gita. And I'd love to read to you a quote from the Bhagavad Gita and then describe why obsessing about weight loss can lead to this suffering. Here's the quote. Always perform your duty efficiently and without attachment to the results because by doing work without attachment, one attains the supreme. Performing your duty efficiently is about being in the moment and acting in a way that aligns with your desires. So here's where health behaviors come in. Here's where in the moment practicing being more confident, practicing actions that lead to more self-acceptance and self-love can be really helpful. But the main piece here is without attachment to the results. It's thought that attachment is really what leads to suffering, whereas non-attachment leads to freedom. So when you're obsessing about weight loss, it's like you're attaching or gripping to that outcome. And that's where we get really stuck. We suffer. We self-sabotage. Can you release weight loss as an outcome? Certainly it might happen, but it might not. That doesn't mean that the behaviors you choose to become healthier and happier aren't worth it. They certainly are. More often than not, weight loss does not bring someone what they think it will. Confidence, feeling sexy, a relationship, whatever it may be. Those things are independent of weight loss. In fact, I recently had a client share with me this. I had gastric sleeve surgery last year and I've lost 75 pounds. I thought that would make it easier to love myself and all my parts, but I'm finding I still struggle with the same thoughts and feelings. I still see my bigger self in the mirror and still reach for larger sized clothes. I've come across some people that say they barely recognize me and that's so confusing because I still see myself and feel much the same. I know I'm smaller, the scale says I am, the tape measure says I am but my head just isn't getting in line. And she rated her love for her body about a two or three out of 10. And now this woman is not alone. I hear these stories all the time from people who have had significant weight loss. And unless they were also doing the inner work, their sense of self and love for themselves didn't change one bit. So let me summarize. Losing weight or wanting to lose weight is not bad but you have to really think about whether or not it's serving you. Evidence shows that most weight loss programs actually lead to weight regain. And so that intention to lose weight is doing more harm than good. So it's time to really get real. Are you on this journey because you're being driven by a multi-billion dollar weight loss industry? Or because you think that weight loss will bring you everything you've ever wanted? These are just illusions. I am not a weight loss coach because I want to help you transform deeply. I want to help you do the inner work. I want you to feel healthy and happy and joyful, to have a healthy and happy relationship with food, and to love your body, feel more confident, develop stronger relationships. All of these things that contribute to true wellness, that's what I'm about. Weight loss doesn't even have to be part of the picture. And you never know, it might be a result, but don't let it be the focus. It's time to take a more inspiring approach to wellness, one that is rooted in your own inherent worthiness. If you want some support to help you really understand where you're struggling most, 
gain clarity about what you truly want, and have a plan to get from point A to point B, I invite you to a free nutrition and wellness assessment with me. You can apply at worthyandwell.com forward slash assessment. Once I get a better sense of your current point A and your desired point B, I'm really good at helping you find the resources, tools, people, programs, services to help you on this journey. I can't wait to chat with you soon. Take really good care.